What a wonderful day! My second monkey movie review of the year, and yes, yet another home run for 2024. Directed by Wes Ball, this movie takes place 300 years after the last installment in this franchise via War of the Planet of the Apes in 2017, and follows the chimpanzee known as Noah, played by Owen Teague, and his family and friends in the Falcon Clan. They are smarter than ever, and even speaking fluent English, while humans have become feral creatures. Noah and his companion Zs live in centuries-old structures that have since been made unrecognizably covered in green and plantation, along with cities and skyscrapers. It's beautifully haunting, and not like anything I've ever seen bef- Uh, well... I have seen before, but not as pretty as this. A human scavenger starts following them, and they then find their clan raided and ape-napped to then be taken back to a settlement slash religious cult to Caesar from the first three movies in this franchise, led by the self-proclaimed ape king Proximus, played by Kevin Durand. Finally, an intimidating villain who is obsessed with evolution and what lays inside a human-made doomsday bunker. It's one hell of a suspenseful adventure, with the unbelievable motion capture tech and CGI having only improved since 2017. Especially now, with making these completely believable-looking, fully rendered apes speak in full-sentenced English. The emotions portrayed via their eyes and entire face was outstanding. Every single hair flowed and looked so real. It's a reasonably long runtime, taking its time to tell a tale of twists, turns, and monkey fist bumps. But I was too engaged with the story to notice the clock ticking. I would give it a 10 out of 10, but there was one distracting plot hole that was never answered in the human character May, played by Freya Allen. She's completely competent, clever, and seemingly all-knowing of technology and literature with never explaining why. Why wasn't she feral like the rest? Do you know? Please, tell me in the comments. Also, what did you think of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes? Was it the best yet in this remade franchise? I think so, and I'm diagnosing it with a 9.5 out of 10. What's you gonna say next, you wonder? I bet you don't wonder at this point. Stay tuned for more movie reviews and exclusive interviews on the Dr. T Show!